to request a CAD for a customer, you want to find the customer, test proposal in this situation, and come over to the CAD request tab. Once you're on this tab, you'll see a whole suite of tools that will allow you to request a CAD from our design team. You can go ahead and ignore the CAD design, engineering, and permit application headers up here. These will be where the files are uploaded once they've been completed by our CAD team and you have been notified. So you'll be able to download those at any point once they've been completed from these three sections. Coming down here to the actual request portion, you can type in any notes here. These will need to be important to the job, um, anything that's off of your standard practices, equipment you may be using, um, really anything you think that we need to know before designing CAD that can help us do that more efficiently and more accurately, please go ahead and include those here. Moving down, you once again want to verify the proposal that was used to sell the job. We'll select that proposal. You want to type in the jurisdiction. We'll say Salt Lake City. Now, if you need an engineering stamp, a battery, generator, ground mount, large system, anything like that, you'll want to just select these so that we know to include those in the design. If it's not selected, we may not get to it. You want to always be in the best practice to select which thing you need added onto this so that we can make sure to include that in our design. Moving down, we need nine photos in order to create the CAD. You'll see them all labeled here, main panel, main panel label, surrounding main panel, and so on. If you don't know what that picture looks like, you can go ahead and hover over the question mark and it will give you an example of what that picture looks like on each of them. For rafter de depth and rafter spacing, we do need the tape measure in there to know how far apart and how deep those rafter rafters are. Excuse me. Um, there's really no exceptions to that. We do also need all nine photos in order to design a CAD. There's no exceptions to that. If you have any additional files that you want to upload, such as the picture of the roof and where some vents may be, um, any additional images that can help, you can always click on Add Additional Files. You can type in the label here, choose the file, and hit Submit. That will upload it to the system for you as well. You can upload five additional photos. Once you've gone through and uploaded all the images here, once again, all nine images are required, and any additional files that you want to upload, this CAD button will light up the same color green or teal that the rest of these buttons are and allow you to click it. Once you click it, it will give you a confirmation that you have clicked it. The button will once again gray out and you will just be waiting for your CAD at that point in time.